Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to LS3D Park, guys. Just get in, got in here and wrapped it. We're wrapping up some more videos. Just done one with La Mesa PD, so we're going to jump down here now and do some Del Perro. Going to use the 2018 Charger today, no partner. Uh, so we're going to kind of stay in that Del Perro area, see what we can get into. We always have fun when we come over here to Del Perro, so. Citizens reporting a possible 480 in Del Perro. Units respond code 3. That's a medical call. Let me go ahead and uh, pull right here and get my timer started. Okay. Turn around that vehicle. They got a suspended license. Well, this is one of the weirdest traffic stuff I can say I've ever had. Target vehicle license plate. Four seven young. Yeah, I don't know where the lag is coming from. It was not doing that. A traffic violation. A traffic felony. Approach with caution. Let's see, are they running? No, now they're following us. Now I know it's gonna cancel. Shit. We're gonna do it again. I think we finally got them stopped. I mean, I was sent here to clear things up, and it's not that people don't understand, it's just that people don't understand. I mean, like, hey, you know, you got Good evening, right sir. Also, Burnett with the uh, like Del Perro Police Department is stopping you today okay, because uh, our vehicle, AR Perro, just come out and said you have an expired and suspended license. Let me see your license and straight proof insurance. Uh, All right, sit tight. You'll be right back with you. Be such a buzz kill. For example, when your mom calls and she really ruins the buzz, and you're all up there on the high astral plane with the big. Hit no other background, guys. It's just where we stopped him at. He does have a suspended license. Vehicle has uh, invalid insurance. So first we're going to give him a citation for the invalid insurance. It's expired. The guy himself, and and he's going like, to be arrested. And you're like, but how come we live with a guy that's not even my dad? And she's like, you're special. And I'm like, cool. All right, sir, why don't you just step out of the vehicle? Have you wondered who I am? I'm not. Watch I mean, I'm going, somebody asshole. that's like something that's really far out there. I mean, it's Wake like that. when you watch sports and they pour the orange drink All right, drink go ahead and uh, walk back here to my vehicle. Wins. I mean, that's what I'm a fan of. Only, only hey, dude, you, hush. Different. Hey, what's up, homie? Alright, so let's, uh... We're gonna, uh, arrest him. Hope you like prison food, shithead!
Alright, sir, did they give me place to arrest for driving a vehicle with a suspended license? Or pat him down. Alright, he had a pistol magazine with several rounds of 45 APC rounds, a pen, three grams of baggies of crushed tan powder. Some of it I can't see. Go ahead and put him in his vehicle. All right, sir, go ahead and sit down in the vehicle. We're gonna test these weapons. Positive for Mary Jane for that one. So he had marijuana on him, and then he's uh, driving on suspended license. Uh, let me see. Did it, would it let us test that weapon? Let's see here. Yeah. Citizens report stolen property. The weapon's good. Okay. Search the vehicle. All right, and the vehicle had nothing on the driver's side. On the passenger side had women's thongs high heels three grams of c coding baggies of coding and the trunk of interest flatbed assistance required in del perro beach All right, so we're gonna go ahead and ride him up. So he's gonna be going in for the uh, driving with suspended license and for the drugs. So we'll take him right over here because we're right here at the station so we'll just take him over here and we will let a officer take him in Get out here and see what we can get into in the power of the day. Hey. We're trying to get away from the port. Your call lights are on. But you guys is new, I'll show you Del Perro's jurisdiction. 
Okay, all this here in the green is the apparel. This is where we'll stay in this area right here. And this controller keeps dying. Make sure call eyes didn't get turned off. Yeah, they're on. We've got a 503 in Backlot City. We're right here at that, but I'm not. Not sure if that's our jurisdiction, though. Uh, it's around the edge. We'll respond. Maybe Metro. Requesting air support over Rockford Hill. Rockford Hill. We are airborne and in route. Attention all units. We have an officer requiring assistance in uh, Rockford Hill. Unit to respond code 3. Roger, K. Eagle 4, we have a suspect vehicle heading west. Dispatch, we got a visual on the first. <laughs> We're back in Del Perro. Back up needed. In Del Perro. Acknowledge. I see the perk. We're in pursuit. I don't know. Well, I, well, I had to see if we can spike the tires. Assistance needed. A. Uh. So we got her. We'll go ahead and put her in the vehicle for now. Go ahead and secure her. Possible 480 and Pacific Bluff units respond code 3. I'll pull right here. Well, so we can check out the vehicle. Yeah, we're still in the power. Oh, okay. Target vehicle license plate. Four three five. Belongs to Fort Saint Kuda. Zero two. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. All right. 
a the Bay Care Center parking stub, a set of jumper cables, a box of tissues, and a custom M1911 pistol on the driver's side. Nothing on the nothing on the passenger side. Nothing on the trunk. All right, since this is a military vehicle, we're gonna call the uh, Fort St. Cudo PD uh, MPs down here to kind of take charge of this vehicle. Let's see here. Assistance needed in Pacific Bluff. We'll go ahead and remove this uh their power unit right here. Right. How's it going? Well, we got into pursuit with this vehicle. The uh, suspect in my patrol car stole the uh, vehicle, and it, it is one of your vehicles from your base. So we wanted to uh, contact, get get in contact with y'all, and um, so you can send someone down here to come pick it up. Maybe maybe y'all want to search it. Um, I don't know, but um, okay, so you just want to have it too. All right, I'll go ahead and arrange that. If you just hang uh, tight here just for a minute, hang with me for a minute here. Flatbed, assistance required in Pacific Bluff. We'll go ahead and pull her out of the vehicle while we got a female officer here. There she is. We'll go ahead and hit, let her search her. I want to call another one in. I can just uh, use the MP. Hi. Has a Sandy Shores ATV uh, rental receipt, a 357 SMG, a SMG silencer with a P22 revolver, a out of state gun permit. Alright, for now we're going to go ahead and turn it back in my vehicle. Paperwork. Well, she had a warrant too. So we'll get her for her warrant. We're just gonna get her for a warrant and possession of stolen uh, government property. She's in enough problems now, but still in the military vehicle. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and let uh, Fort Sincudo take them in. They'll probably want to pros uh, prosecute anyways, uh, since it is their vehicle. They were stolen, so. Jackass. We will let, um. 
Let him take over. We've got a Grand Theft Auto in uh, Del Perro. We're going to go ahead and head to that. We can get a chopper in there. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that taxi. Can't get out. I don't think. Get out of the car. LSPD, hold it. Get on the ground. Let me get it. I big love the road here. I don't think that's the right ELS pattern for the for this vehicle. I'll have to look at that and see. I think he's got the wrong one in it. Hey dude, what are you thinking? He just stole two vehicles. He has a violent license. Let me pat him down. It had a, a liquor bar receipt, a state a San Andreas fishing license, a pack of cigarettes. An inhaler, no, and in our seat. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and just get rid of the dump truck. We don't have anything that can uh, tow that, so. I don't even know if they let us search it. We can see. Oh, it will. Okay. Five, five gram, five, five, five grams of baggies of tan powder, several boxes of 380 AP ACP revolver ammo, a true crime novel. On the driver's side, nothing is on the passenger side, nothing is in the trunk. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Remove it like that, and we'll say they picked it up. As far as this vehicle, we'll go ahead and run the plate. Target vehicle license plate 6-0 Frank Nora Nora 530. Target is 10-4. Right, so we'll go ahead and uh, search this and get it out of here, and we'll charge them with that too. Right. A heart women's biker bottom with an explosive tag. A high, high heels, a roadside emergency kit on the passenger side, a half bottle of tonic, 
on the in the trunk. Well, I mean, think about it. We don't know if that was already in the vehicle or if he put it in the vehicle. Okay. Flatbed. Assistance required. And Del Perro. We'll go ahead and write up the information. So as of right now, he's going to be charged with two stolen vehicles. We'll get all the information uh, figured out down at the station. I'll go ahead and call in. I'm going to call in a transport unit. Assistance required in Del Perro. I need to fix that. I notice he's got the wrong vest, and I'll take a look at that. Alright. So he's gonna be picked up. We're going to get out of here and see what else we can get into. Citizens reporting an 11351 in Del Perro. Alright, so we'll head over there and see what's going on. We got a vehicle that's probably is blocking the traffic. The road is right around the corner here. It's pretty close to where we just left from, so. We'll just, uh, hit. uh matter of fact, it's showing that it's right here. Okay, it's right there. I mean, that's not really in the road. No one in it. We're going around the plate. Target vehicle license plate. Zero two Edward Young Charles one six six. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and have it removed. We'll just call a uh, tow truck out here to, to pick it up. Flatbed. Assistance required. And Del Perro. Citizens reporting stolen property. Alright, we'll go ahead and head to that next. Fourth of a stolen cell phone. Now, Fire Normally is pretty busy when we, when we work over here.
Okay, so we need to go this way. Just back up right here. We we'll just pull like right here by this sign. Yeah. Hello, sir. Did you call the police about a stolen cell phone? Oh, not too bad, thank you. What's your issue? Someone stole my cell phone a few hours ago. Thank you, sir. Okay. Does your phone have a tracking app on it? Alright, so we're gonna try to um, hit Z. Okay, I don't know why that popped up. Get rid of that. We're gonna see if we can um, find this uh, phone for him. Phone does have a tracking app on it, so. If it works, this call has not been working right, so it may not work. See, I'm not showing anything. It would uh, show me where to go to find the phone. That That's the issue with the call. It's not showing you nothing. So I'm not sure if it's actually working the call. Yeah, we're gonna just call it off because I'm not I don't know if it's working. Ten four. Attention all units. But while we're here, we're gonna stop this vehicle. Okay, what are you doing? They're not gonna stop? Okay, now they're deciding they're gonna stop. Inspired insurance. George Boyd Adam 757. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Good morning, sir. Officer Burnett with the Del Perro Police Department. We stopped you today because our ARPR system back there picked up. You have expired insurance. So don't get your license and registration yeah, proof insurance. Alright, sir. I'll be right back with Thanks. you. 
Nope, they just canceled the trap stop. I should have used the mouth. I don't know why I didn't use it. Spider insurance. He's had one citation. We'll give him a warning. Probably gonna run now. He gonna stop me the aisle I'm in the middle of the road. All right, sir. I'm going to issue a warning today for your expired insurance. You need to make sure you go ahead and get that fixed. Alright. You just signed it as, uh, you, it's just a warning. You said you were spoken to about, um, having expired insurance. So, have a good day. And, uh, drive safe. All units, we have a person with a firearm. Respond code three. Are we getting reports of a person on Del Perro Beach with a firearm? I want a code three response to this. We'll go this way. Shots fired, shots fired. Suspect down. Clear. Let's get EMS out here. Ambulance. Assistance required in Del Perro. Possible 503 in Del Perro. Backup needed in uh, Del Perro. So EMS is on right in route. He got me an arm. Go ahead and wrap up this uh, investigation. Hey, wildfire in 
great chaparral. Our backup units on scene. We're still waiting on the EMS to get here. Citizens reporting use of explosives in Del Perro. Well, oh, they're bombing behind this wall. The other right there. I'm gonna call another EMS. Ambulance. Assistance required in uh, Del Perro. There we go. The other one they got lost or something. I don't know what's going on. Thanks. Are they going to see if they can revive him? Can't revive him. Why'd we even show up? Call corner. That's required in Del Perro. So, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. I don't know why it's lagging like that. We'll go ahead and wrap up everything. Um. I don't think it's going to happen. It's just going to corner. It's going to have to wait on the corner to get on the scene to take care of the bodies. So we're going to go ahead and just wrap everything up. We're down here today in Del Perro. Doing some Del Perro PD. But anyways, thank you for everyone who's been watching the channel. Thank you and been subscribing. And I'm trying. I'm gonna have to look at what the lag is because it was not lagging like that. I played it last night. It did not do that. So I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to check it out and see what's going on with that. But have a good day.